And we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you how to create a flickering ladder effect. It's actually quite easy to do, but it takes a little bit of time. At first, if you want to create a background, let me just right click in my project menu, create a new item black like video and I use the typical YouTube size 9020 x 1080. Drag and drop it into your timeline and now activate the type tool. You can also press T for that. Click on a preview window and type in something. I'll just use Flickr as an example and I sized it up using the cursor tool. You can adjust this text in effect controls, but I like to use the graphics layout and then go under essential graphics to edit. We've got more options here. For example, use a different font, use a different fill color. If you're done, just switch back to the editing layout. You can resize that so that it has the same duration as the background. And now you have to count the letters. So in this case, it's seven letters, so we need seven elements. Just hold Alt and then drag copies and stack them on top of one another. You might have to resize this menu as we need seven of them plus the background, so we need eight video channels. And that's good. And now the next step is to use a mask so that we have one letter per element in our timeline. So let me close this drop down and we need to find the opacity right here. Open the drop down for opacity if you can't see that. And we want to use the pen tool. It's the easiest in this case. But let me zoom in a little bit to 100%. And you can readjust the position right here. I'm on video channel 2, which is my first text layer. And now the F is the only that's visible on this layer. Go to video channel 3, which is the L now. And use the pen tool once more. Don't get confused, there's another pen tool down here. We don't want to use that, you definitely have to use the pen tool under the opacity function. Otherwise you're not going to create a mask. And now you go through all of these text layer elements in your timeline, one by one, and create this mask. I'm going to speed this video up a little bit. And now we've got what we wanted, and if I make these Video channels invisible, you can see one letter is attached to only one layer. And I'll start at the bottom of video channel 2, which has the F, and it goes upwards. Now all we have to do is to reposition these layers. At the beginning, you may want to zoom in a little bit. You can do so by holding control and then using the mouse wheel. And now let me play it and the text flickers in. You don't want to make these gaps too big. So the longer these gaps are in between these elements, the slower this flicker effect will be. And the smaller you make these gaps, the faster it will be. Now let us apply the same effect to the end. We just have to resize our elements. You can also add this effect to the center. You just find a position somewhere, let's say one to two seconds in. Then press C for the cut tool and create some cuts. Especially in the center, you don't want to make these gaps too big. Maybe one, two, three frames. Now use the cursor tool and delete these center elements, these small ones. And now it flickers a little bit in the center as well.
Let me add here another one. But it's the same process. And this is how you can create this flickering letter effect in Premiere Pro. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.